see how this test of fate has gone. Okay, so let's have a look. Before I actually take the cards, I do want to actually make sure you guys do know that there are only two blue chips left. Just to confirm, there's one blue chip. I'll leave that on the table. And then here's the last blue chip as well. Just to prove that there were three red and three blue. Two blue chips I'll leave on the table. Now, let's see. You've been holding these. I can't get near them. So let's have the first card. The first card from the top says here, there will be two blue chips remaining on the table. Excellent. That's what we have got. Two blue chips remaining. Let's have a look at the next one. Well, we don't know if it's gone right yet. The first person will select a red chip. Spot on. Good, good. Let's have a look at the next card. We've got that the second person will also select a red chip. There it is. The third one. This is an important one, of course. The third person will select a blue chip, which we have, of course, and at the end of all of this, we have that the fourth and final person will select a red chip as well. Give me a nice big round of applause there. Now, before I let you go, see, I'm dying to get off these seats, I can tell, trust me, I'm dying for a break. Uh, now, before I let you go, you all decided to sit where you sat. I had no influence over where you took those seats, okay? Also, you didn't realise that each one of these seats, just one that fell off the back of yours, unfortunately, each one of these seats has something on the back of it. Okay? Now what I want you to do is actually stand up for me please and spin the chairs around so we can see these on the back. One, two, three, four. These laminated targets, what I want you to do is actually take them for me, take them off the backs, have a look on the other side and make sure we've got this spot on right. Turn it around for everyone to see as well. We've got red chip, red chip, blue chip and red chip at the same time. Give a nice round of applause. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh dear me. Right, well, let's just check. We've got the lady with the clock over here, haven't we? Have you got it all safe? Yeah, you know, uh, changed it, moved it around, nothing like that at all. X and stuff. Do we want to know if the clock is correct time? Do you want to know about it now? Or do you want to wait till the very end of the show? You want to know now? Who wants to know now? Who wants to know at the end of the show? It's a majority thing, isn't it? How about you? Do you want to know now or at the end? You don't mind? Yeah. Just thinking that envelope's going to be sodden by the end of the night, isn't it? It's going to rip open. Yeah. All right, come up this way, come up this way. Then give her a nice round of applause as well as she comes up here. Oh, okay. Now, every so often I try out new things and sometimes they can go right, they can go wrong. You never know until you try. I did this with you. I said that there's sodden envelope now. I'll take the whistle from you then. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, the time written on the front, 10.25. Take the clock, put your hand inside, grab the clock, I'll take this. No, 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 you've got to show the whole audience at the same time here. Let's have a look at it. Turn it round, have a look. I was about one minute off there. Give it a nice round of applause there, thank you very much indeed. Okay then guys, we are now going to take a 15 minute break, so plenty of time for you to nip to the toilet or obviously grab another drink, whatever you want to do. Uh, when we come back, we will be coming back with some very different things, so do not miss the second half. You will, uh, some of you may be a little bit disturbed even, I must say. So please, enjoy yourselves, grab a drink, and we'll see you in about 15 minutes guys. Thank you very much indeed.
dangerous effect that I'm about to perform. And for that reason we are taking safety precautions at the same time. Now this effect, I must admit, is the most scariest effect I've ever performed for a live audience. And also, this can go wrong. I will be completely honest with you, this can go wrong. If anyone's ever seen on the internet, YouTube sites, under Magic Gone Wrong, several magicians have performed this effect and injured themselves quite severely. Even a member of the audience, actually. So, with that in mind, what I'd like to do is actually ask a member of the audience to come and join me up here, actually. Uh, now, we didn't get to choose many people at the back. Leslie, sorry, no, I'm not going to be choosing you at the back there. Uh, let's see over here. This that, that lady here? Yeah? Um, you're with the camera crew, aren't you? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, go on then, come on. Give her a nice round of applause. Come up back here then. Oh, dear me. That's a good you with the cameraman here, aren't you, as well? Okay. Um, now, I, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not English, are you? Okay. But your English is very good. Good. Okay. Uh, have we had this medically wiped yet? James, can we have a medical wipe, please? Thank you very much. Just before we do this. Now, I'm going to ask you to do something first of all. I'm going to give you these cups. I'm going to ask you to... Right, one to six on these cups for me, please. One to six on the tops, yeah. Nice and big if you can. One to six, okay? You don't have to do them in any particular order, just make sure they're numbered one to six. And for those of you that did hear the Rock FM interview, yes, I am sweating bullets now. We're nearly there. Yes, please. Five, sorry, five, yeah, one to five on there, yeah, good, I'll take the pen, thank you very much indeed. Right, now, this spike here is what you're going to hide under these cups. Now, you can use any of the bases, you don't need to use the one it's in, you can take it out, put it in any base, 
okay, once you've decided that, put the cups over each one, and then if you want, you can also give them a mix, okay? So make sure that the, the spike goes on in one of the bases, and then cover the bases and the spike with all five cups and mix them around as well, it's very important. Perfect music. I don't want you guys to see either, to be honest. It makes it even more interesting when I'm doing this. Tell me when you're ready. Are you ready? Right, okay. What I'd like to do is stand just there, maybe off a little. Actually, if you can hop up onto the stage, stand next to the chair. Now, these are numbered, aren't they? We've got uh, two, I believe, is that two? Two, five, three, one, is that? And seven, four. Sorry, I can see it upside down, okay. Yeah, it looks like seven because it's upside down. So uh, each one of these has got a number on. Do you know which one it is under? Which number it's under? Yes, you do. That's very important. Okay, so it's either under two, five, three, one, or four. Okay, so make sure you know which one it's under. I'm going to try and help if I can do this. Don't panic. I'm going to ask you to say no to everyone for me. Okay, just say no every time I ask you something. Okay, every time I ask you, say no. Okay, was it one? Was it two? Was it three? Was it four? Was it five? Down to one and four. Just say no to both. Was it in one? Was it in four? 